In this video, I'm going to write a program to find the second highest number in an array in C. So the first thing we'll do is make a test array. We'll say int a is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And in this array, the second highest number is 8, because 9 is the highest number. And we'll write a function to find this second highest number in an array and return it. So we'll say int second highest, and the function is going to accept the array as an argument as well as the length of the array as an argument. And then we'll provide a definition of the function down here. And the way we're going to define the function is like this. We're going to keep track of both the highest number in the array and the second highest number in the array. And we're going to loop through the array one element at a time. And we're going to look at each element. If that element is higher than the current highest number, we're actually going to adjust both the highest number and the second highest number. We're effectively going to bump them down and make that number the new highest number and the previous highest number will become the new second highest number. We're also going to do another check to see if the number is lower than the highest number but greater than the second highest number. If that's the case, we only have to adjust the second highest number. So the one thing we have to do is figure out the first highest and second highest numbers. And to do that, we're going to look at the first two elements in the array. And we're going to order those. We're going to figure out which one of those is the first highest number and which one is the second highest. And if they're the same, it won't really matter anyways. So we're going to keep track of these two numbers. We'll say int max one, that's going to be the highest number. And then int max two is going to be the second highest number. And the first thing we're going to do is look at these first two elements and then set max1 and max2 accordingly. So we'll say here, if a0 is greater than a1, we're going to make max1 equal to a0 because it's the bigger number. And then max2 is going to be equal to a1 because it's the lower of the two. Otherwise, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to say max1 is equal to a1 and max2 is equal to a0. So now that we've established the first highest number and second highest number, we're going to loop through the remainder of the array and examine all the other elements and then adjust max1 and max2 accordingly. So we're going to say here now for int i is equal to 2, i is less than length, i++. plus plus. So the reason why we say i is equal to 2 here is because we're skipping over the first two elements in the array. We don't need to examine those because we already examined them here. And then we're going to say, if a at i is greater than max 1, the highest number. If that's the case, that's where we kind of bump down both values, essentially, where we're going to make this value the new highest number, and we're going to make max 2 equal to the previous highest number. So we're going to say here, max 2 is equal to what's about to become the previous highest number. And then we're going to say max one is equal to a i. And so in this way here, we've basically set the second highest number to be the previous highest number. And the new highest number is now this new number that we've just looked at for the first time in the array now. And then there's one more case we've got to take care of. What if there's a number that it's not higher than the highest number? but it is higher than the second highest number. So it's in between the two. If that's the case, we do need to adjust max two. We do need to update the second highest number because it might not have knocked off the highest number, but it did knock off the second highest number. And that's actually the one we care about the most. So we're gonna say here else if a at i is greater than max two. So if it's greater than the second highest number and it's less than the highest number, then we're going to update max2. We're going to say max2 is equal to ai. We're going to update the second highest number. Now, when this is all done, when we go through all the elements in the array, max2 is going to be set to whatever the second highest number is. So we can return that now. We'll say return max2, the second highest number in the array. So let's give this a test run now. We'll say int result is equal to, we'll call second highest with a and 10, because there's 10 elements in the array. And then we'll print f the second highest number. So we'll say second highest, and we'll output that number. 
and then we'll compile this and run it and we'll see what we get back as a result. And we get back that the second highest number is eight and that is correct. And so we've written a program in C to find the second highest number in an array. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.